Hey guys and welcome to Order Scale. So one of my favorite AI tools, which is completely free, is Perplexity.ai. And a while back I recorded a video talking about ChatGPT and Perplexity and how together they make the best factual free copywriter and I still stand by my words. And today I wanted to cover a new Chrome extension that Perplexity launched and some of the use cases. So I will skip the download process. Hopefully you can do it yourselves. Uh, here is the perplexity installed on my computer. And I will go over a few use cases um, that you can apply to your blogging, SEO and business. So the first use case uh, is about outlining. And you know, when you use uh, different uh, Chrome extensions, mine included, it will sometimes copy uh, rubbish content. So there are going to be uh, H2s and H3s that are inbuilt into the HTML schema, but are not relevant to the outline. So the way to fix it would be to open the target page, which in our case is Candocs Eat Longian. We open the perplexity, we choose this page, and we can write a very simple command like writes an article outline. And this is it. We can we have uh, an introduction, personal anecdote, explanation of longans, safety tips, health benefits, risks, how to feed longan, are dogs allergic to longan, what if your dogs eat longan? And as you can see, this is based on uh, this outline here, and it's without any fluff, without any irrelevant information. So the second use case is very similar, but it's just, it will help you read faster and consume information faster. We all li like that. So say I want a uh, to know what the best VPN for Mac is, and I come across this humongous article with lots of information, and I just want to know the conclusion straight away. I can go to perplexity once again, select this page and ask, what is the best VPN for Mac? And you can spine your competition this way. ExpressVPN is the best VPN for Mac, according to CNET's editors. It is among the fastest and most secure VPNs, although it is not the cheapest option. And you can choose the detailed view, and you'll get some additional content, but not by much. And you can see the target source is this page here. Another way is to go to sites like Reddit and Quora, and so sometimes the inbuilt search does not return relevant results, and you want to, uh, you don't want to go uh, thread by thread, subreddit by subreddit. You just want to know information straight away. So I can go to Reddit. So I will still, I will stick to this domain in this example because I don't want a concrete page. I want the whole lot. So I can go. What is the best way to? Fix a flat tire. And perplexity returns four of the best subreddits on the topic. And as you can see, the best way to fix a flat tire is to take it to a repair shop and this and that. And we can go to detail view and get some additional content in context. So this is very handy if you want to get your information fast in a summary format. Another way to use perplexity is when you're researching something, like you're doing a meta-analysis, meaning that you analyze the results of different research papers. And Google Scholar is one of the best free resources. So I want to learn about GPT-3, and I come across this research paper here, which again is quite long. And I just want to know in a nutshell what is GPT-3? And I will choose this page. And the results is as follows. GPT-3 is a language model developed by OpenAI that has 175 billion parameters and 96 layers, whatever that is. And yeah, this is a very unique and handy method to research academic and technical papers. Another way of using perplexity is go into a marketplace like AppSumo. Again, I found, and this was my experience, that the search of AppSumo does not always return the most relevant results. What if I wanted to ask about the highest rated 
AI copywriting tools. Some of the highest rated AI copywriting tools include Katep, AutoWrite Pro Writer, and let's just see. Uh, for example, this one is Katep. Almost 600 ratings. What about the writer? And writer is mentioned two times, so I'm assuming this is a higher rated product. And yes, almost 1300 ratings. And yeah, this is a very unique way of searching databases and marketplaces. And the last application that uh, you can use is Amazon. So obviously you can go for product reviews, but I wanted to show you something different. So lately I've been trying to get rid of some of my bad habits. And although I don't smoke, I'll use this as an example. So we'll choose this domain. And one of the more popular books on quitting smoking and bad habits is by Alan Carr. Hope I don't butcher the author's name. So I don't remember the exact name, but it had to do with smoking. Yeah, and I misspelled the surname, but okay. Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking is a book that claims to help people quit smoking. And we want something more like pros and cons. So we'll go to Detailed. And the pros of Alan Carr's methods are that it is an effective way to quit smoking without experiencing withdrawal symptoms or gaining weight. The cons are that it may not work for everyone. Some people may find it difficult to follow the instructions in the book or may not be able to commit to quitting smoking completely. Additionally, some people may find the cost of purchasing the book prohibitively expensive. So there you have it. And you can get uh, any summary on any product sold on Amazon pros and cons, reviews, and so on and so forth. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.